Today, we push the limits of Bowser's Fury modding by putting Mario in high security prisons. We test if Mario can exit these prisons, and we rank how difficult it is to escape from these prisons. We'll test what happens if you try to collect this cat shine that's normally in the cage early. We will create prisons of blocks and fury blocks for Mario, and every prison will be ranked in a tier list. Prison number one is a cube of brick blocks. Mario starts off inside the prison with Bowser Jr., and you can actually get Bowser Jr. to leave the prison by sending him away. After a moment, for whatever reason, Bowser Jr. teleports back into the prison. Maybe he likes it more in here than outside. These blocks can be broken really easily. Mario can either jump up and break the top blocks and exit from there, or he can roll and break the blocks. And when Mario gets a giant mushroom, he can stomp this prison to the ground. If you're Little Mario, you can't break these blocks, so we're going to rank this prison as level 1 security because you need to be either full-sized Mario to break these blocks, or you need to wait for Bowser's Fire Breath to destroy it, and otherwise it's very, very easy to get out of this prison. Let's go to the next prison. This one looks similar, but Mario can't break these blocks because they give coins when you hit them. You can still get Bowser Jr. out of this prison, but you can't get Mario out of this prison by teleporting in the same way that Bowser Jr. does, unfortunately. I waited around inside the prison for the Bowser phase to begin to see if Bowser's fire could break these blocks and free Mario from this prison. And Mario had to have some fun while he was passing the time here waiting for Bowser to spawn. After Bowser's first fire breath attack, I was really surprised that these blocks didn't break. This prison looks like it might almost be impossible for Mario to escape from, maybe. The falling fireballs from the sky also didn't damage these blocks. I waited for one more fire breath attack from Bowser, because maybe the first fire breath didn't reach us or it wasn't a good angle, and with the second fire breath attack, the blocks are broken and Mario is free. Mario gets his mega mushroom and does his usual ritual of crushing the prison down to the ground. I'm going to put this prison in level 2 because even if you have a regular sized Mario you can't break these blocks and you need to use either Bowser's fire attack or a mega mushroom to get out of this prison. Let's head on to our third prison and these are starting to look tough. We are now in a prison of hard blocks. We can't jump out of here, Mario can't break these blocks when he's at his regular size, and rolling into these blocks doesn't break these blocks, and that doesn't let Mario escape. So it looks like Mario has to pass some time while he's in this prison. So if you do some dives at a specific angle into this corner, and you mash the buttons, you can do a lot of dives repeatedly because you quickly recover. Normally you just bounce into a wall, but if you do this at a nice angle like this, then you can quickly recover and keep doing this, and this is a great way to pass the time while you are waiting for the Bowser phase. When Bowser first appeared and he used his fire attack, I didn't even see where his fire attack was coming from, so I wasn't sure if it was reaching the prison. His first fire attack didn't destroy these blocks. I actually went through the entire Bowser phase, but since Bowser didn't go to a good location, his fire breath wouldn't break these walls, and Mario was still stuck in the prison. Does that mean that this prison is actually impossible to escape from? I waited around for another Bowser phase, passing the time in the best way I knew how to pass the time, and when Bowser appeared again, I tried to make Bowser Jr. go outside. Maybe Bowser Jr. would act as bait, and Bowser would appear in the correct location, and then maybe Bowser would shoot fire at our prison and free us. And it looks like Bowser is taking the bait. He jumps over, he aims at Bowser Jr., and he blasts open a hole in the wall. Not only does he blast open a hole in the wall, but he blasts the entire prison to smithereens. I'm going to rank this prison in level 4 because it is a seriously difficult prison to escape from. I used Bowser Jr. as bait to be able to get Bowser into the right spot so he would break this prison, but it is possible to get out of this prison. Next up, we are in a prison of Fury Blocks. A fun fact is that you could get the camera to follow you inside here, and then the Fury Blocks will disappear from certain camera angles, but their collision still exists, and you aren't able to exit this way by making them appear invisible, because they're actually still there. Bowser Jr. can easily teleport out of this prison, just like the other ones, and it's too bad that Mario can't teleport out this way. Mario obviously has no way out from here, and he has to wait for Bowser's fire to get him out. We're going to put this one in level 2 in the tier list, because all you have to do is wait for Bowser to use his fire breath, and then you're free. 
You might be wondering if Mario with a Mega Mushroom when he's huge, if he can break these Fury Blocks. Even when Mario is giant, he's still not able to break these blocks. This is something we tested in my video where we added double cherries to Bowser's Fury. You might also be wondering what happens if you remove these Fury Blocks at the start of the game and collect this Cat Shine here that you can't normally collect until after you beat the game. If you're interested in seeing more of what happens if you get Cat Shines earlier in the game, I'm thinking of doing that for a future video, and you're welcome to subscribe if you'd like to be notified when that comes out. For the next prison, I built what looks like a high security prison for Mario. You have a double layered prison with two layers of fury blocks, spiny enemies guarding the inside walls, spinies on top of the first box that Mario is inside, and spinies on top of the outer box that encloses the inner box. These two boxes are up high at the top of Scamper's Shores, and you can see that it takes up a lot of space here, and it takes a while for Mario to run around this prison. It has a big outside. So let's load up the game and put Mario in the center of this prison. It's nice that this time there's also a cat in here with Mario, so Mario can play with the cat while he waits here for Bowser. You can hear this little pitter-patter noise in the background, and if we move the camera to make the Fury Blocks disappear, you can see that that sound is coming from the spinies that are running towards Mario that are behind the wall. If you look up, you can see that Mario is walled in from the top as well, and there are also spinies above the wall that's currently above Mario. I don't know how it's raining inside here, we really need to fix the leaks in this prison. When the Bowser phase finally starts, Mario takes some damage! I forgot that the cat would turn evil and damage Mario. I was not expecting that while I was sitting in here. That's actually something you have to be really careful about in this prison. The evil cat might kill you before you have a chance to get Bowser to break the blocks and free you. Even though this prison is two levels thick in Bowser blocks, Bowser's fire destroys the entire fortress in a single hit. This prison looks a lot tougher than it actually is. This prison would get a level 2 rating, but since there's a cat on the inside that can turn evil when it's the Bowser phase, and there's a chance for the spinies to also hurt Mario, we're going to give this one a level 3. And now, we have made it to the final prison, the cage where the cat shine is normally kept. Is there going to be a way to break out of this? We know that Bowser's fire isn't going to be able to break this, and it looks like a Mega Mushroom can't damage the cage either. Will there be any way out of this cage? First, I was curious to see what would happen if the cat shine was outside of the cage. I know that speedrunners of Bowser's Fury often use a glitch in Claw Swipe Coliseum to collect a cat shine there without having to break the Fury blocks and get in from the other side, and I was wondering what would happen if you put the cat shine outside of the cage. This might be a bit surprising, but whether you try to get the cat shine or whether you try to make Bowser Jr. get the cat shine, you cannot collect this cat shine. Only once you bring the key over and you unlock the cage can you collect the cat shine. This is a great feature by the game's developers to make sure that players have to unlock the cage before they can collect the cat shine, which makes sure that you can't get the cat shine early. Now back to our prison predicament. Can Mario get out of this prison? Attacking the lock isn't going to work. We can't have Bowser Jr. bring over the key to us and open the cage, and Bowser's fire attack doesn't do anything either. But what if I told you, you could just walk out? That's right, the collision detection on these walls works only one way, and this is something that's done in a lot of parts of a lot of games. Since you can just walk or jump out of this cage without any problems, without having to destroy anything, we're going to give this prison a rating of zero. It takes almost no effort to get out of this prison. If you are interested in seeing more of what is possible in games for both regular gameplay and hacking, you are welcome to check out some of my other videos. You might find something that you enjoy. Wishing all of you a fantastic day and take care everybody.